Hi, my name is Ram, and this is update episode for Crot with Redux series. Things have been changed from the first episode. The main change happened with React Router, which is expectable because it was in alpha and now it's in beta. And with this update they introduced some breaking changes. In this episode we'll see how to fix our small project. There are two parts. In first part we'll see how to install and use the exact React Router version we used during this series. So if you're just starting to watch this series that's a good way to go. In the second part we'll update our project to use newest beta 5 version of React Router. So let's get started. Let's open terminal and let's remove node modules folder with remove rf node modules. And then let's run npm install. That will take a while. Ok, done. Now let's run application with npm start. Let's go to the browser and we see that we have an error and nothing is rendered onto the page. So let's make it work by using the React Router version we used during the series first. So let's go on back to terminal, let's remove node modules again with remove rf node modules. Next let's open package.json file. Here let's remove caret symbol from all packages. Note that React Router version we used in this series is alpha 5. Now let's run npm install again. Ok, done. Let's go back to the browser and it works, no errors. So that's it for those of you who want to continue watching the series. Come back to this episode for update material when you finish with it. So quick note, from now on in my series I'm going to use yarn instead of npm to install and manage dependencies. That hopefully will solve the problem with versions. So there was a big update for React Router from alpha to beta versions and some breaking changes were introduced. So let's update and fix it. First let's uninstall router version we used with npm uninstall dash dash save React Router. And then let's install React Router DOM package and we use version 4, beta 5. Note that we install React Router DOM instead of React Router. This package is for web applications, while for example React Router Native is for native mobile apps. Let's restart our application and let's go to the browser and we back to our initial error. Nice. Now we need to replace all React Router imports to React Router DOM. And let's start from index.js file. We change React Router to React Router DOM, and that's all we need to do here. So let's move on to app.js. Here let's add DOM to React Router as well. Now instead of match, we need to import route. They change the component name as well. In render function, let's replace match with route, and instead of pattern, we need to use path from now on. That's it for this part for now, and let's have a look in the browser. We got error about a tag. Link component was also changed, so it doesn't recognize these props, so we need to remove them. Let's go back to editor, and let's remove these props from links. We need to create custom link component, and we'll do it a little bit later. Ok, home page works fine. Let's go to games route, and we have an error. The problem in game card component, so let's have a look. We open gamecard.js file, and the only thing we need to change here is add DOM to React Router. So back in browser, good. Now let's try to edit game, and we have troubles again. This time we have a problem in game form page, so let's open it up. And first of all, let's add DOM to React Router. Next, we need to change the way we get params from props. In alpha version, all parameters were delivered right in the props, so we could do what we did here, these.props.params. But in beta, they were namespaced under match object. So now we need to use these props.match.params. So let's take match from these props and use it in a conditional and in parameters for fetch game action. Also let's scroll down to the bottom to map state to props function and here let's take match from these props as well and use it in conditional and in find callback. Let's try it out in browser and it works, we fix it, aren't we cool and stuff? So last thing left is active menu item. Now no matter what page I visit, I got no indication menu about it. We can't provide props to link component anymore like we did before, instead we need to create our own custom link component. So let's open app.js file. 
Here, let's define new active link component. We define it as a functional component that has label to and active only when exact props. These props we will provide when we use this active link component. This component, instead of rendering link component, will render route. Basically, when route matches, we want to render link with class active, and otherwise, we render link without this class. So we specify path prop to equal to 2 that will pass to active link. Same thing with exact, it equals to active only when exact. And for our particular use case, route has children prop. We can use it instead of component like we did before. It takes function that renders no matter if path matches or not. But it allows us to introduce our own logic because this function takes object that contains match property. This property is null if there is no match, so we can use it in our link component. So we define class name. If this route matches the path, we use active item class, otherwise just item. Then we specify 2 equals to 2, and inside of it we render label. So now let's use this component instead of link. So we rename link to active link. We add active only one exact attribute to all links. And then instead of having label inside of link, we'll pass it via label prop. Like this. Home, games, add new game. So now let's go to the browser and see if it works. And it does. Good stuff. So let's make final check. Let's remove, again, node modules. Let's run npm install to install all packages in you. Done. And let's restart our application. Now go to the browser. It still works. Nice. For how long? Nobody knows for certain in JavaScript world, but I can guarantee you that it won't last long. And that's why I want to create a series of courses that will be evergreen and will be updated every time something changes. If you're watching this episode on February 2017, you have an opportunity to support this course as well as get exclusive lifetime subscription to all my premium content. Link in the description. If you found this series useful, please support my work by liking it, subscribing to this channel, and most importantly, sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Also, join my newsletter if you want to get updated about courses I'm working on and receive other goodies that I can deliver via YouTube. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.